Is a person free to choose whether to live or die? Do doctors have the right to use euthanasia? And what does it mean, escort to death? These questions are raised in a new performance by the Ivan Franco Theatre Alice Trip to Switzerland. It is the performance which inspires the audience to reflect on their actions and how to appreciate every moment of your life, love each other, and enjoy the uniqueness of the life on Earth watching our program. The play is full of very serious reflections about life, death, people's responsibility and understanding of their place in the universe. The philosophy of life and death is shown in this performance. It is about how to value every minute of your life and how we can become civilized people. The plays by an iconic author, Lucas Burfus from Switzerland, are popular all over the globe. He raises relevant and controversial issues of our time provoking serious disputes. One of the playwright's works about euthanasia has been staged in the Ivan Franko Theater in Kyiv, Ukraine. Director Stanislav Moiseev, with his troupe, has prepared his interpretation of the drama by Burfus, Alice's trip to Switzerland, for the Ukrainian audience. We started from the moment I gathered the actors selected for the roles and told them at once, some of you might not be ready to play in the performance, which brings up such sensitive issues. It might cause internal resistance. In this case, I will release you from playing these roles without any problem. But none of them refused to do it, and it seemed to me that they got some kind of creative satisfaction in the process. Of course, I have never had such a role, and I guess that I will never have a similar one, as every role is unique, just as each person is. It is a very complicated role, but sometimes this role reminds me of a book. I have just opened this book and started reading it. In the beginning of my career, about three years ago, I would have thought whether to play in such a performance, but the events which happened in my personal life promoted me to work with this topic, and this is why I am grateful that this very topic appeared in my life in this period of life. But before making a decision about staging this controversial play, however popular it may be in Europe, the art director of the theater, Stanislav Maiseev, had to learn a lot. He consulted with medical specialists, including Minister of Healthcare of Ukraine, Vasil Knozhevich, who actively uses palliative care as an approach in Ukraine. When we were considering just joint project with its director Stanislav Moiseev, both of us were worried when this decision was being made. It wasn't a one-day decision. We were thinking, are we ready? Can the actors make it? Will the audience get this topic? It was very important to convince the actors, and the director managed to do that. What is more scary for people, life or death? This question will seem absurd for most people, but not for the characters of the play. Alice's trip to Switzerland stage on the chamber stage of the Ivan Franco Theater, and the audience is special as it must decide whether or not to spend the evening watching a performance about a terminally ill girl about euthanasia, as described in the announcement. Of course, it's very complicated material. It's not easy for perception. The performance lasts two hours without an intermission. That is rather difficult to sit through, and I think that the audience should visit such performances cautiously, realizing where they are going to and what they are going to watch. They should understand it. I think that a casual audience will not go to see this performance. Let the audience think. You can't have fun, play and laugh all time. Think. A person should think. Every soul should work day and night, day and night. Of course, each of us is moving towards Europe in some way. We are moving towards it by staging European plays and popularizing them in Ukraine. We can't just come, receive a visa-free travel to Europe and consider ourselves as Europeans. First, we need to reach this level mentally. We should think the way they do and have the same values as Europeans have. Sergei Kolontai is speaking about European values not by chance. He had been working 
working in German theaters for a long time and only recently came back to Ukraine. He learned about the development trends of European theater firstland. Besides, many years of acting experience came in handy during the work on this performance. To be a part of the large family of actors of the Ivan Frankov Theater, it's an honor for me, and my dream of working in this theater came true. I am glad. I'm so happy that I was given this chance, so I will surely take advantage of it. So the title of the play, Alice's Trip to Switzerland, evokes association with the famous fairy tale by Lewis Carroll, but Barefoot tells a different story. His Alice stands on the border of the other side of Wonderland. She is gradually reaching the point of no return. The life of the terminally ill girl is slipping away from her with each passing minute, and Alice, who is tired of her disease and worthlessness and wishing to save her mother from the hardships and worries, makes a decision to go on her last trip to Wonderland, to euthanasia. Я поїду до Швейцарії, викорю останню цигарку, отримую 15 грамів, заснує все. А для чого треба їхати в Швейцарію? Там це дозволено. А я не вірю. Вони заснували Червоний Хрест, вони дбають про людей. Саме тому Густав допоможе мені помогти. Я так вважаю, це найскладніша роль. I think that this role is the most difficult. Living with a child who always wants to commit suicide, caring about her and preventing her from this step. What do you think? What is this role? Just imagine your life with a sick child. I believe that when playing Alice, you should appreciate every moment of your life. Pay more attention to the people you talk to. Be happy about the things you have. We have everything. Clothes, supermarkets, we have lots of things. But nevertheless, we remain dissatisfied with something. And I believe, even in the Donbass conflict zone where people are killed, someone might be much happier than us. Those people who face death have a better understanding of life. It's as simple as that. Ті люди, які, які стикаються зі смертю, більше розуміють в житті ось так. Having made a difficult decision, Alice goes to a neighboring country, Switzerland, where euthanasia is legalized. The doctor Gustav Sturm can put an end to the suffering of this patient. He is publicly called Dr. Das. He is a doctor, a person who assumes the right or takes on a mission, who lets people commit. All in all, he is an escort to death. He helps people commit suicide, but he is a doctor who considers himself the only one who agrees to do that, for the benefit of the society, and that's all there is to it. It's a difficult choice. It is a complicated topic which evokes lots of questions. Who is Gustav for real? Was it difficult for Alice to make this decision? Is the topic worthy of discussion on the stage? My civil position is that we should know all the shades of our life. Even if it is about dark shades, we should learn about them anyway. They should be openly discussed. Every family faces diseases and the loss of their loved ones. Everyone dies peacefully while others, someone dies peacefully while others die in agony. I think this topic is not new at all. It's just that people don't like thinking and talking about it for some reason. And we raise this topic for public discourse. In my opinion, it's a common everyday topic. In the author's interpretation, Dr. Sturm tries to understand people who come to him. The most important thing for him is that each person should live with dignity and die with dignity. One of the patients, John, a hopelessly and terminally ill Englishman, comes to Switzerland three times and can't make a decision whether to take or not to take a death bill. But he talks a lot about the life he lived with love and fond memories. Я збирав голоси птахів. Жаль. Actor Alexander Loginov skillfully played the funny gentleman who really knew how to enjoy life and was confident in his uniqueness of life. The third visit to Sturm becomes the last one for John.
The main issue the performance raises is whether people are always given the right to decide about their destiny. How should modern society treat doctors who don't save lives but help terminally ill patients to experience a good death known as euthanasia? And the director shows such a doctor on the stage, but at the same time, together with the actors, he raises the question how to start appreciating every day of your life and living it as if it was the last day. The play has a complicated structure, though it is not the only matter. New drama and new texts are popular in Europe are only just being introduced in the Ukrainian art scene, despite the fact that a significant number of Ukrainian authors are already working in this style. We should raise relevant issues, of course, this is painful. But I have already experienced such situations when dying person squeezes your hand and asks, give me something, please, I can't take this pain anymore. And when you deal with it at least once in your life, you realize why all these discussions are needed. Ти розумієш, для чого потрібні всі ці розмови. In different countries, there is a different opinion about euthanasia, and people are unlikely to agree on this issue. It will always be murder for some and mercy for others. Abstract discussions about the freedom of choice may last forever, but here there are characters who make difficult decisions in front of the audience. Потім натягнути на голову поліетиленову торбинку, як каптур, і ти мусиш зараз визначитись, це ти будеш робити лежачи чи сидячи. Я не знаю. Playing such roles is also not easy for actors. Що ти робиш? Я п'ю рогі, бо ти ж сам сказав. Of course, this role is difficult for me. I have never played such a role in my career. Each of the characters is a person with their own weak points, and this particular issue is the most painful one for the mother. In the end, she also chooses euthanasia. She loses everything that kept her going through life. She used to devote all her life to her daughter, a very sick daughter. According to those who staged the performance, they have the right only to discuss what true humanity is and what the real price of human life is. But the characters can't count on unanimous support for their difficult choice. That is why there are no final conclusions for or against euthanasia. I don't count on anything or anyone. I can only count on myself. I need to focus on my work. The most important thing for me is to concrete, that is, to reflect. Not to do something insignificant, not to feel something or cry, not to receive the text, but to concentrate, hear everything, see your partners and listen to them. That is the most important thing for me. Це для мене найважливіше. Людина найбільше боїться власного страху. Ми не можемо розвиватися в іншому напрямку, ніж в напрямку, який наближає нас до смерті. Кожне велике відкриття – це великий шлях до кінця. Тіло не міняється. Ми починаємо говорити, приєднуватися до цивілізованої спільноти. We are joining the civilized community in which the value of life is already being discussed, but there is also the value of death. This philosophy has yet to be developed. And the work which was done by this troupe on the stage and their fantastic acting changes a lot. Just muse it over and you will remember these thoughts tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. But we should enjoy life. It is very important to feel that we are human. I hope that Ukraine will use this chance and this breakthrough will prove it. We will be appreciated much more. Let's live and prosper and thank you. Getting back to the idea of the performance, you can draw a parallel and see the same eternal question people have long been trying to answer – to be or not to be. It's the question which, according to the knowledgeable people, acquires a specific meaning in the 20th century.